<laughs> right, mega flow day. <laughs> well, it's taking shape a little bit now. Let's go for it. Oh, so here we go. First ever turn on in this build. But that job was beginning to sort of play on my mind a little bit. Oh, vent loose. See? Didn't check the vent, did I? Like, subscribe, comment below. It's all about Mark Tip, the use of... Oh, <laughs>there we go we're in a bit tight but at least i can get up there to connect the hot off the top into the hot and we've got plenty of room at the bottom to get round spark has got enough room there to get onto the the electric side of it it's just cold main into it. it's just the the pressure relief i'm going to come down i might have to kick around the top with some sweat bends into the top of there So we've got um, the, the hot connected. I didn't film that because I had to fucking get in there to get it done. But um, got that connected into the top of the cylinder, just directly in. Oh, and I've also got my new uni light. What is it? The SR 1750. Bang on light this is. Spot on. And it's got magnetic clip holder there and like a little buckle here, loads of different settings. It's all got, and it's a power bank, so you can plug like, if I can get it, like plug a USB in there to charge, charge your phone up or whatever like that. But I've been after a decent light for ages, so I've got that uni light. So that's lighting the cupboard up a treat. But yeah, got a uh, lever valve on there just so I can isolate the hot as and when. In upstairs there, about to feed the house going up down and just pokes through to that little cloak room so that's that connected now i'm just putting in the 
Right, I'm just putting in the cold, the balance cold. So we're going to be there, and then, uh, which way is it going? That's it, that way. So this is the cold main coming in. We'll go straight into the top of here. Shut off valve there, pressure reducing valve there down to three bar. Off there, balance cold to feed the house down there, and then straight into the cylinder to fill up with that water. Well, fill up with cold water and then turn it on. So we'll connect that straight across into the cold main coming in. And uh, we're getting there. Wow, it's taking shape a little bit now. We've got the cold connected in, hot off the top, balance cold. We've got that for the pressure gauge, primary, off air for the heat and flow, return, picking up that rad through there. So yeah, we're getting there now. We've just got the uh, pressure release to do. Come down here in copper, sweat bend, and into that MUPVC and out. Right, so that's the, the cylinder near enough in now. All I've got left to do is the um, pressure relief waste out into that MUP you see at the back. So we've got the cold main coming in, shut off valve, pressure reducing valve, balance cold, off to feed the rest of the house. And then that's the cold going into the cylinder. Hot off the top with a lever valve, just so we can isolate it if need be, easy enough. Um, or have that off and have the cold on for when, when, we, when we're testing. Um, what else we got? Filling loop, heat and flow up there, comes off the bottom of there into the radiator that's in that little cloak room on the side of there. Uh, bypass on the heating system for if all the valves shut off and the pumps and that stop, at least it's going to circulate through there. And what else have we got up there? Primary return back to the boiler, which is over that side of the room. So we'll get the boiler on tomorrow. Here we go, silver grey instead, and uh, these are a totally different batch of tile because it's actually just wiping straight off these. Nice. I'll wipe that bit off there, just the enough. There we go, See that straight away, comes off easy. I don't think them last tiles had a proper glaze on them. Different, different tile, aren't they? A lot better. Yeah, just come straight off. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Right, so that's the pressure relief connected up now into the tundish, hot flow tundish. Um, so it's got in you know, it, if you can see it. Stops the smells coming back through. Can zoom in on it. So we've got that in, that's everything in now in there. So what I'm going to do now is try and connect the cold main so we get the hot and cold filled on the cylinder. Right, we've got cold main connected now up through the scale master, up into the feed and then over. And we've got it cold up to here now. And then also got heating pipes because we've got a rad in that corner. So brought the heating pipes down, going to go through that box in to feed that rad. And then the primary is coming down underneath here, ready for the boiler to go on there. So we're making a bit of headway on it, but goalposts are always moving. Right, so that is impressive. So I've got a cheapish cordless SCS drill, uh, an Urbao one from Screwfix. The spark has got the power off on the house at the minute. I wanted to get this core drill, this hole put through for the boiler. Um, so I thought, right, I'll give it a go with the air bar and see if we can just get it started till they got the power back on. But it is literally pissing through this. So only 18 volt, four amp. But honestly, I think I think it was like under a quid, if that. I, to be fair, I bought it to put my rattle attachment on the front for when I do system cleans. But you know what? It's perfect for hanging rads and stuff like that. Yeah, very impressive. Proper impressed with that. Literally just gone straight through there. Job done. Her bower. Impressed. 
Right, so, mega flow in, boilers in, near enough, bar for the connections on it to go on, and we get in there, we can start getting it filled up and that soon. Hopefully I'm just gonna go around now and cap off some of the pipe work and get it ready. Right, so we're in this bathroom and basically where this unit's gonna sit, the pipe work coming inside, I just put these tails in roughly, think we weren't 100% sure on height wise how we were gonna sit it, but it turns out they've got to come up a little bit higher. So what I'm gonna do is reroute this up to about here and out, and then this one here and out, and then we can just trim it so it go right inside the unit. Um, get it into there, I can cap it off, and then hopefully get the water on soon. So what I'm gonna try and do is unsweat these out of here and put in street elbows just to keep it dead tight to that wall because we've only got that. So if we do that, bring them up and out, and we should be good to go. <laughs> There we go, so they're coming up real flush to that wall. And so in that one. So we have to sit within that recess there. So we get that marked up now. And the chippy can drill those holes out. Right, so this is it. I've just down in the basement now, I've just put two ball of fixes on the lowest hot and cold points in the house. So what we're gonna do now is get upstairs, where the mega flow is, we've got the mains onto it, so we're gonna open, everywhere's shut off, we're gonna open the cold, so it just fills all the cold outlets to start with, um, and pressurise it up. So this is, the, this is the sort of the bit of like three months worth of work. I've pressure tested it, I know it's, it's all right since pressure testing it, but you always just never know, so, right. Let's go for it. This is uh, I'm a bit apprehensive to be fair, but I always do get like that, especially on a big build like this. You know, just in case I'm, I hope I haven't crossed the pipe or anything like that. But if we, if I have, we'll sort it out. If I haven't, spot on. Right, let's go up. <clears throat> right, so here we go. The first ever turn on in this build. I'll just do it in little stages, just, just to get the pressure into the pipe work. Because we're gonna be cold. That's the balance cold, so that's going to all the outlets and then the hot shut off anyway. So we're literally only filling the cold up. Through the basement cold. Hopefully it's coming through. It shouldn't be. Shouldn't be coming through the arse anyway. So let's just see if it falls a bit through. I fucking hope it does. So it's still filling up at the moment. So, 
We fill in, constantly fill in. But at the minute, I'm not getting anything through any of the cold, um, cold pipes. But what my thought is, is it's coming straight in to fill the cylinder first before going off to fill the cold, I hope. So we'll see. But it is literally, you can hear it. It is filling, so we'll see. Nerves, nerves are kicking in now. Clients, both the clients are here. As you can hear, it's filling. I've just got it half open at the minute, just to check that it's still coming through. So let's hope we've got cold here by now. I'd have hoped to thought we have. Fuck for that and the hot because we got the hot shut off on the cylinder. Check by opening that up, and we've got nothing good. That's what we want because at the moment we're only filling the cold. So I want to check that all the cold outlets are coming through. So let's go upstairs so we know that's all right. So we'll go upstairs now and just check we've got cold coming through the bath filler as opposed to right we want we want water here yes it's always a good sign nothing from the heart which is good <sighs> yes we've got cold water coming out of a tap but obviously because we're still filling the cylinder up and everywhere else at the minute the flow is not great because it's splitting it's coming in it's hot water cylinder and the, and the hot and the cold water so once that cylinder is full of pressurized that water will start coming out a lot quicker um, more pressure but at least we know we're all right so that's the cold all on and now so now we will open the hot up and hopefully we get no screaming of people going oh, you see To know the water's on so that's a big relief for myself to know that the water's on and no one's hollering me saying there's water coming through the ceiling well i said it's been um about three hours three four hours now with the hot and colds on so we can safely say that they're pretty good to go so i'm just doing the last rad downstairs in the basement get these done a couple i think there's two or three left to do upstairs and a towel rail and then we can start hopefully tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday, hopefully get um, some water into the heating system. Now I was always told, never fill up on a Friday. So what I might do is, depending on how I get on, I might just put some water in it and shut it off and maybe pressurize it up for a little bit of the day Friday. I might come back in Saturday just to, to see how it's going, but we'll see. But yeah, so we just get this wrap done. And that's the basement done, bath wall. 
seats and that that'll go down here but we've got them shut off in the corner so we're all right there right i've just left that job it's six yeah just gone six o'clock thursday evening I had a good day today um th th that job was beginning to sort of play on my mind a little bit trying to get everything done in filled up I've pressure tested that job all the way along so I know it's all right but when you're doing something of that size and now the decorators are in and the floor sanders are coming in soon and you sort of like up against a, a bit of a deadline you've all got to have deadlines but sometimes those deadlines um, make you start to think and I was finding myself at night before I was going to bed at night thinking shit I've got to get that done that done so today to get there to get now the cylinders in boilers in everything's all in to get the hot and the colds on and just know that I knew they were all right but just to know in your own mind that it's all right and then tomorrow I've got a rat one rad to pipe up two rads to pipe up and isolate a couple of others and I'm going to fill the heating system you shouldn't do it on a Friday I've always said you know never fill up on a friday but i'm gonna fill it up and i'm not gonna leave it overnight i'm gonna fill it up and just drain it back down before i go tomorrow just to for my own peace of mind really um but sometimes that's what you've got to do you've got to settle your own mind especially in our game because you know how much damage water can do if you know if, if it went wrong there and brought the ceilings down it need plasterers and it's just a knock-on effect then so that's why pressure testing it along the way i've always done and now just i've turned the water off tonight when i've left just so i can turn it back on in the morning so we can have a two full days of being there when it's on um but yeah the stress levels were beginning to sort of lift on me and i don't usually get like that and i think linking back to my other video the other day about my motivation i think it was partly to do with that because today i've just felt felt it really go off my shoulders a little bit and then tomorrow when, when i filled the heating system up that'd be uh be great and then hopefully come next week we can get it all wired in and get some heat on and heat test it as well so yeah we're sort of getting there but it's uh it's late now fucking knackered um so i'm gonna go over and jump in the bath i think for a bit right and I'll be back with you tomorrow morning. Right, I'm on the last radiator now. This is the last one um, to go in, and I've capped a couple, uh, valved up a couple of the other ones off, so you can feel the heating up in about touch wood. About an hour's time. So uh, we'll get this one, get this one connected, piped up. Go around, check every single rad, make sure they're all alright. Uh, tight valves off, um, drain off, turned on and we'll start getting some water into the system right so i'm down in the basement now i'm just going around starting at the bottom working my way all the way up to the top tightening every going checking every round tightening every nut drain off um, and just making sure they're all proper tight before the first fill up of the system so i'm literally just going round and checking every nut, every drain off, every, every coupler, every jointer, just to make sure they're all all right. Because it's worth just taking, you know, 10, 15 minutes, going around, checking every single one, um, just to make sure they're, they're all right. So this is the heating system filling up then. So just a bit, uh, a bit apprehensive. Again, same as Yacht & Carl's, pressure tested it. I know it's all right, but you just, I, th I think if you didn't have that slight, slight little doubt, you're overconfident. But I am confident in my work, just not, you know, there's maybe one little bit I've missed or, anyway, I'm waffling, because I'm trying to pull it off doing it. So, right, let's get the rest of these rads tightened up and then join me for a big fill up. Right, so that's it, been round, tightened up every single rad that I've got valved off. Um, apart from this one here. Good job I checked. Let's just turn this off. 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 Right then. Let's see what happens. Sure I've got everything done, yeah. Right, so let's 
just cracked open a little bit. And there's the gauge, the all-important gauge. We're waiting. They're off, they're off. They're off. Right, the gauge hasn't moved yet. As soon as that gauge starts to move, it, um, you just shut it off. At least you know you're holding a little bit of pressure in there. A lot of gurgling going on where the water's getting around the system. We've got the labour of Bailey's sort of running up and down and around the house just to make sure we've got nothing leaking anywhere. So I say as soon as that gauge just starts to rise a little bit, oh, like it is, if you can see, you can see that gauge is just starting to lift. So if I turn the water off, just when it's just lifted ever so slightly, I think there's 20, 24 rads in this system. So it's not, not just your three bed house with eight, 10 rads in, it's, it's 24 rads worth of, of filling up. So, so if I, so I've just turned that water off now, let's keep it going. Just running cold water? Yeah, yeah. Are we all right? Nothing showing value now. All alright boys? What's that hissing? Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd do it. Where? Oh! Flood! Flood! Oh, vent loose. See? Didn't check the vent, did I? Here we go. Oh, here we go. The fucking slight. I could have dropped a thimble what bit of water and these boys will be on me. They're dying out on this now. Oh, here we go. Fucking hell. Little bit there. Just keeps the dust down from the chippies because they spray fucking dust everywhere. I reckon you undone that. If that's the only leak I get, I'll be happy with that. Just a little vent that's uh, not tight. Right, so we're at one bar. So I'm going to shut that, shut the thinning loop off, and I'm just going to go around and just check everywhere is all right. Can't believe that one. Little uh, vent, vent at the top. If that's all I've got, Joe. I'm happy. Good, I'm good. Do you think you've got all these pipe runs? The lads have just been putting these boards down now. Yeah. All good in here. That's all right. We're looking good, we're looking good. And then the top two. Perfect. Right, so I'm happy with that. We've got all of them, all the pressurised up to one bar. So what I'll do now is start letting the air out of them and actually filling the rads themselves. Starting from down in the basement. Whew, pressure. It's just a massive relief to to have that holding. If you've been on big jobs, you'll know. It's always this day, but it's Friday. Never feel like on a Friday and I'm doing it. Breaking my own rules. Look, flood. Fucking take the piss these boys do. Flood, you should, just one vent, vent plug, I'll be happy with that flood. Here we go, look. Three hours in, still holding pressure. Perfect. Right, so that brings the close of a busy week. Um, I've really took the pressure off myself this week now by getting everything, what we've got done over the last few days sorted in this house renovation. So now it's just a nice bit now. Now we know everything's all right, we can start plotting our way through it and getting bits finished off. So if you've liked this hectic video, which I'm sure it will come across as, um, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Comment below for anything you wanna know and uh, I'm gonna have a well-earned 
weekend off. Might even have a drink or two as well. So, right, see you next week. No, I'm not ready yet. You got... No, 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 no. Delete that one. Delete that one. Like, subscribe, comment below. It's all about Mark Tip. The use of. Oh, I can't <laughs> Like, subscribe, ah, oh, bollocks that again. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment below. It's all about Mark Tip, the YouTube sensation. Oh, I can't say it's sensation. I can't sensation any sensation. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment below. It's all about Mark Tip, the YouTube sensation.